Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to print number of days in a given month. So we will take one number from user from 1 to 12 and we will try to print the number of days in a given month. So consider the example if user is entering 12 then it's a December we have to print the output 31. Perfect. So first of all let's try to analyze the input required in this program. So what is the input required in this program? So definitely we need to have a given month, right? That means we need to take the month from the user. So I will just try to take integer month is equal to let's say 6. So what is the output required in this program? So definitely we have to print the number of days in the given month, right? So we need to check some condition, right? Because we don't know that what is the number user has entered, right? So based on the condition we have to decide. So how many condition we have? So we can have a 12 different condition. So based on the user input, we can check whether it's a 1, whether it's a 2, whether it's a 3 or whether it's a 12. So in each condition, we have to print the different output. So let's understand this using one diagram. So in this diagram, you can see that we have a 12 different condition, right? Either it's a 1, either the number entered by user, it's a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? It can be 12 as well, right? So in each condition, we have to print something different, right? So we need the 12 condition, right? So if user is entering 7, we have to compare this number with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes, then print 31 and exit the program, right? So we have a 12 different condition. And we know that whenever we have a condition in Java, we have to write the if statement, right? Perfect. So let's try to write down the first condition. So I'll just try to write down if given month is equal to is equal to 1, then definitely I will print that it's a 31, right? It's a January month. So I'll just print the 31. Perfect. Now we have to write the second condition. So can I just write this condition like this? If month is equal to is equal to 2 then it should print 29 or 28. So definitely we don't have to write down the second if condition because we want to write down the program if user is entering 1 then it should match the first condition and it should exit the program, right? So we don't have to check the rest of the condition. If user is entering 6, it should check the condition 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 it should print 30 and it should exit the program, right? We don't have to check the rest of the condition. So that is why we don't have to write down the another if condition. What we need to write? We need to write the else if, right? So if this condition is true, then print 31 and exit the if statement, right? If this condition is not true, then check this condition. If this condition is not true, then check another condition. If this condition is also not true, check another condition. If this condition is also not true, check another condition. Okay. So here we can just write down 3, 4, 5. So if it is a 3, then we have to print 31. If it is a 4, we have to print 30. If it is a 5, we have to print 31. And let's just write down the program till 6 only. Okay. If it is a 6, then we have to print 30. Right. Perfect. So based on the each condition, we have to print the different output, right? So that is why we need to use the ladder if else. So consider an example. Let's say if user is entering 14, what will be the output? So definitely it will not print any output, right? Because it is not matching any condition, right? So user is entering some number, but we are not printing any output. So user will get confused. Like I'm just entering some numbers and why this program is not working. So we need to print some kind of an error message, right? So that is why we have a else part inside the ladder. If else we have a else part. So if this number is not matching any condition, then just execute the else part. So in the else part, we can print number is not valid. Perfect. So now we have solved this program using the ladder. If else. So let me just try to run this program with the four. Okay, so when I run this program, it should print only 30, right? When I try to test this program, let's say with the 14, let's run this program, it should print the error message. Perfect. So we sold the program to print number of days in a given month using ladder if else, right? 
so next program we will see how can we solve the same program using the switch statement right so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video